Hello everybody, welcome to our regular Thursday evening prayer. First a small item of housekeeping. On Saturday I will be licensed, as some of you know, as a lay reader for Holy Trinity. And if you check out the church's social media, or indeed my Facebook page, you will find a link if you want to register and watch that service live, beginning at, I think, 11 o'clock in the morning. We are also hopeful that after the service, it will be made available for us to upload to our website and social media. So do keep your eyes out for that. This evening we reach back through the mists of time to the era of the Puritans, Our scripture readings will be taken from the 1599 edition of the Geneva Bible and our prayers will come from that collection known as the Valley of Vision. I will endeavour to avoid the caricature Puritan voice, all stern and northern, and instead share some of the beauty of the Geneva Bible and the poetry of the Psalms therein and the deep theology and devotion contained within the prayers prayed by our Puritan ancestors. And so we begin in prayer. Glorious God, it is the flame of my life to worship Thee, the crown and glory of my soul to adore Thee, heavenly pleasure to approach Thee. Give me power by thy Spirit to help me worship now, that I may forget the world, be brought into fullness of life, be refreshed, comforted, blessed. Give me knowledge of thy goodness, that I might not be overawed by thy greatness. Give me Jesus, Son of Man, Son of God, that I might not be terrified, but be drawn near with filial love, with holy boldness. He is my mediator, brother, interpreter, branch, daysman, lamb. Him I glorify, in him I am set on high. Crowns to give I have none, But what thou hast given I return, content to feel that everything is mine when it is thine, and the more fully mine when I have yielded to thee. Let me live wholly to my Saviour, free from distractions, from carking care, from hindrances to the pursuit of the narrow way. I am pardoned through the blood of Jesus. Give me a new sense of it. Continue to pardon me by it. May I come every day to the fountain and every day be washed anew that I may worship thee always in spirit and truth. Amen. Psalm 103 A Psalm of David My soul, praise thou the Lord, and all that is within me, praise his holy name. My soul, praise thou the Lord, and forget not all his benefits, which forgiveth all thine iniquity, and healeth all thine infirmities, which redeemeth thy life from the grave, and crowneth thee with mercy and compassions, which satisfieth thy mouth with good things, and thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment to all that are oppressed. He made his ways known unto Moses, and his works unto the children of Israel, The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always chide, neither keep his anger for ever. 
he hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heaven is above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our sins from us. As a father hath compassion on his children, so hath the Lord compassion on them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we be made, he remembereth that we are but dust. The days of man are as grass, as a flower of the field, so flourisheth he. For the wind goeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the loving kindness of the Lord endureth for ever and ever upon them that fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children. Unto them that keep his covenant, and think upon his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Praise the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandment in obeying the voice of his word. Praise the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye his servants that do his pleasure. Praise the Lord, all ye his works, in all places of his dominion. My soul, praise thou the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And now hear the Gospel of the Lord according to St. Mark. Glory be to thee, O Lord. And Jesus called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits, and commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only, neither scrip, neither bread, neither money in their girdles, but that they should be shod with sandals, and that they should not put on two coats. And he said unto them, Wheresoever ye shall enter into her house, there abide till ye depart thence. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust that is under your feet, for a witness unto them. Verily, I say unto you, it shall be easier for Sodom or Gomorrah at the day of judgment than for that city. And they went out, and preached that men should amend their lives. And they cast out many devils, and they anointed many that were sick with oil, and healed them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Now let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so we close in prayer to our God, all-sufficient. King of glory, divine majesty, every perfection adorns thy nature and sustains thy throne. The heavens and earth are thine, the world is thine and its fullness. Thy power created the universe from nothing. Thy wisdom has managed all its multiple concerns, presiding over nations, families, individuals. 
thy goodness is boundless. All creatures wait on thee, are supplied by thee, are satisfied in thee. How precious are the thoughts of thy mercy and grace. How excellent thy loving kindness that draws men to thee. Teach us to place our happiness in thee, the blessed God, never seeking life among the dead things of earth or asking for that which satisfies the deluded. But may we prize the light of thy smile, implore the joy of thy salvation, find our heaven in thee, Thou hast attended to our happiness more than we can do. Though we are fallen creatures, thou hast not neglected us. In love and pity, thou hast provided us a saviour. Apply his redemption to our hearts by justifying our persons and sanctifying our natures. We confess our transgressions. Have mercy on us. We are weary Give us rest. Ignorance, make us wise unto salvation. Helpless, let thy strength be made perfect in our weakness. Poor and needy, bless us with Christ's unsearchable riches. Perplexed and tempted, let us travel on, unchecked, undismayed, knowing that thou hast said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Blessed be thy name. Amen. God bless everybody. Good night.